Good morning. This is uh, Pastor Mike Freda, Mission of Grace, Gaffney, South Carolina. It's November the 9th, 2015. As I was going to an appointment this morning as a chaplain, uh, I had to pull off to the side of the road because uh, there's a few things on my heart. Number one, uh, there's only one living God. All others are dead. There is no other God outside of the God of uh, Yahweh. Uh, his name is also Jesus. Uh, he's the beginning and the end. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. He always was, always has been, and always will be. Uh, he's the protector. He's the defender of my faith. He's the foundation. He's the rock on which I stand. There's no one else but Him. All others are false prophets, false gods, dead religions. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that, I guess, is because uh, if He is a living God, as He proclaims He is, and there is no other God but Him, why is we, why are we as Christians struggling so much? Uh, you know, as a pastor, I, I am in a dilemma quite often uh, because I have a lot of people who listen, uh, but they don't hear. They like my messages, but they don't apply them to their life. There is no faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For without faith, you can do nothing. You have to at least not only trust in Him, but apply the word that is being spoken. And some of us are just going through the routines thinking that there's no one else out there. Well, there is one out there. He is a living God. He is not dead. He's alive and well, and He wants to help you. But you've got to take the word that you've been hearing and apply it to your life. Uh, there is no other choice. You're either going to trust Him, or you're not going to trust Him, and you're going to lose everything that you have. Uh, he alone is the source and the foundation of our life. Without Him, you can do nothing. I wish you would listen and not just hear. I wish you would apply it and not just put the book down on Monday morning. Um, I ache often, I have sorrow often because the people that God has given me uh, to put the word into them don't apply the word. I guess we're thinking that he doesn't really exist, but he does. He's alive and well, and his name is Jesus. I cry out to him every day, asking him to supply my need. And I wish that you would do the same. Is it until you can cry out to him, your needs are not going to be that. I can't supply your need. The only one who can is the one who wants to. But you have to call out his name. You've got to implement your faith. You have to be called into action. For he is the author and the finisher of your faith. God bless.